No California blue or banana yellow here. The aluminum silver Samsung Ative S is all business. But is it too buttoned down to have a little fun? Let's find out. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Samsung Ative S full review. The Ative S shares some commonalities with many of its Windows Phone competitors. It's powered by a dual-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm S4 backed up by a gig of RAM, and it packs an 8 megapixel camera and either 16 or 32 gigs of onboard storage. But the similarities stop there, and in some fairly major ways. Unlike the HTC Windows Phone 8X and the Nokia Lumia 920, the Ative S features expandable memory via microSDXC and a user-accessible 2300 milliamp hour battery. And its bright 4.8-inch 306 ppi Super AMOLED display, familiar to anyone who's seen a Galaxy S3, is the biggest available in the Windows Phone 8 space. The screen's not the only thing that's familiar about the Ative S. The chassis bears a visual signature that is vintage Samsung, looking like an updated Galaxy S2 or maybe a squared off Galaxy S3. Love it or hate it, the home button is back again. The phone is light at 135 grams and it's slim at 8.7 millimeters. It feels nice in the hand, if a little slippery. Samsung has really mastered the art of faux aluminum with the hairline metallic finish on the back, which looks incredible in person. This isn't a phone that'll turn a lot of heads at the club, but it'll definitely earn you some points in the boardroom. The Ative S runs Windows Phone 8, and our unit packs a newer version of the OS that allows Wi-Fi to remain on when the device is locked, and also allows for text replies to rejected voice calls, both welcome improvements. The Ative S hardware runs the OS as smoothly as you'd expect, and it really pops on this big display, especially with the inclusion of more accent color in Windows Phone 8. In our testing, the large screen has led to fewer typos on the commensurately larger keyboard, and visually, the platform scales nicely to this larger scale, especially with the new smaller tile sizes. We only encountered one real bug. Auto brightness on this device is awful, always setting the wrong levels and always lagging behind changing conditions, but that's easily fixable with an update. Samsung has its own version of the Windows Phone 8 store, or its own section, called Samsung Zone, where you can download Samsung-exclusive apps, much like on a Nokia device. Most of them come pre-installed on the Ative S. Samsung's apps aren't as numerous or useful as Nokia's, but we like them. But without a larger, more robust assortment of apps, ideally with some enhanced camera features and some navigation options, Samsung's collection continues to lag behind Nokia's. We tested the Ative S on T-Mobile USA in the greater Boston area. Callers said we sounded fine in normal mode, with a slight but manageable reverb when switching to speakerphone, and that's pretty normal. Unfortunately, as on most smartphones, though the speakerphone is capable of delivering ear-splitting ringtones and media volume, it's limited to perhaps half intensity on voice calls. That's annoying. Data speeds over T-Mobile's network were fairly good when we were in an HSPA coverage area, averaging about 7 megabits per second down and about 3 up, we're still conducting battery life testing. See those results on our full written review at pocketnow.com. But as of the recording of this video, performance looks promising. It took approximately nine hours of moderate use to reach the 25% mark, which is pretty good. The 8 megapixel camera seems to cope adequately with most lighting situations, and there's a fair amount of tweaking you can do in the software to either get a great shot or just have some fun with filters. Shots came out sharp and richly colored for the most part, and they look great on the Ative's Super AMOLED display. Video is acceptable, though autofocus is a little slow compared to other devices. The Ative S delivers a very good Windows Phone 8 experience in all. While its physical design is conservative and not as flashy as the Nokia's and HTC's, it packs the huge advantage of both a removable battery and expandable memory, something you have to go into the mid-range for to find on the other brands. In addition, there's that huge display, a solid camera, and a good feel in the hand. And it's light and thin enough to disappear in a pocket. We wish Samsung had more custom software available, but we also think buyers will be quite satisfied with this device. 
The unique features of the Ativ S combine with its many pluses to earn this device an 8.5 out of 10. Everyone, thank you for watching our Samsung Ativ S video review. If you'd like more detail, including benchmark scores, more screenshots, more camera sample photos, and embedded camera video, visit us, pocketnow.com. That's where we have our full written review of the Samsung Ativ S. We'll also be discussing the Ativ S on the Pocket Now Weekly podcast and on the Pocket Now Daily broadcast. So make sure and check those out. And to make sure you don't miss anything, follow us on Twitter. Pocket Now Tweets is the official account. If you'd like to follow me, I'm at Captain Two Phone. In the meantime, leave us a thumbs up here on YouTube if you like what you saw. Leave us a comment on the review at pocketnow.com if you have something to say. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And stay tuned for a lot more coverage on the Ativ S, other Windows phones, Android phones, and iOS devices, tablets, devices, electronics, all kinds of sh**. I just keep talking and it doesn't get any better. Jaime Rivera will be discussing it on the Pocket Now daily broadcast, so be sure and I, I need I need I need more caffeine. One more time. Now.com if you have something to say, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. There's the winner. <laughs>